Hello, my dear friends, and please welcome the Corn Swallower. To put all kidding aside, it's a corn shelling machine that was made roughly three years ago, even before the creation of this channel. Within the period of three years, this machine has performed very well, and we've managed to shell more than half of a ton of corn, and of course, it deserves a mention on our channel. And don't forget to visit our newest channel, Top Ideas, if you prefer Portuguese when watching our videos, then we welcome you there as well. So, today we're not going to make the same sheller machine again. Rather, I will take it apart and explain how it was made and how it works. By the way, most sheller machines are made by the same principle, because they are rather simple to make. There's nothing extraordinary about removing the upper casing, let us do one thing at a time. First, let us look at the motor. This here is an old Riga 180 watts one-phase motor from a washing machine, with a start and run coils. And not to spend time figuring out how to assemble different circuits and capacitors, just buy a starter like this one. This here is Limera PNV-10, designed to start and stop single-phase motors with up to 0.6 kW of power and up to 380 volts. This somewhat temporary case was made from a steel sheet and a piece of board. The motor is attached with the help of four screws, and the cap is of great importance too. Of course, it's DIY as well. To make one, we'll need a small piece of stainless steel or iron. We need to weld it to the opposite side of the steel tube, drill a hole and attach the tube to the rotary element of the motor. Make sure to drill four holes throughout the tube, the shelled corn will be poured into the container through them. On the opposite side, we need to cut a few triangles with the help of an angle grinder and slightly bend them towards the center. The main principle of this machine is pretty simple. Hold the cob with one hand while the rotary element is rotating and makes the corn come off the ear. Of course, it's not advisable to perform this process this way from the health and safety standpoint, because aside from the corn, some flesh and bones may also come off. And the corn will be flying around too. To avoid all of that, I've done the following. Made a protective casing with a boundary, thus we can now safely shell our corn. All I need to do now is secure the casing to the machine and show how easily and fast our DIY corn shelling machine does the job. So guys, today's edition is over, and as a quick reminder, don't forget to visit our new channel Top Ideas. Happy holidays and have a nice day, bye!